so dramatic right now. I've got a microphone. <laughs> I feel the most professional and most dramatic person that I've ever been. And that's all because I've got this microphone. Testing one, two, one, two. Testing. Hi. It's me. Um, anyway, so we're just going to ignore the huge mic. This is my first time using it. I am going to be getting a camera from the Black Friday sales because I am going to try saving myself a pretty penny because cameras are quite expensive and I do want to get a new one. So keep a lookout for that because my camera and video quality will be getting better. But in the meantime, this will help with the audio quality because sometimes my audio really frustrates me because you can just hear all of the background noises and I'm trying to reduce that, make it a little bit more pleasant for you guys. <laughs> Let's jump into the video. I almost forgot. I almost forgot the jar, which is the whole point of today's video. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be doing the TBR jar picks my October, November reads. <laughs> my god, I'm, so, I'm a month behind. Which if anyone who hasn't seen any of these types of videos, I'll quickly explain. It's very simple. Basically, we pick out a prompt from the jar. We read the prompt to you and then we know what the prompt is. We can choose from my to be read. Some of the prompts can be quite extreme. Some of them can be very basic. Any books that are chosen will go on my TBR and I will attempt to read them. Keyword, attempt. So let's hope this month I get to pick some really good reads from the TBR jar. I'm in a weird mood. I've had three coffees and now this is this is my third coffee, should I say. This is my third one. I've already had two and this has got three shots in it. I'm going to be bouncing off the walls for this video and I'm I'm okay for that because I just love a bit of chaos sometimes. I love a chaotic video. It just makes it more fun. Otherwise, it's like boring. You're just like, Whoa. let's get this one two times speed. <laughs> let's do a good shake and we'll get the first prompt. Last month was the first time that I actually did a TBR jar video. And it th I feel like you guys enjoyed it because I got a lot more views than my average views and I got a lot more likes on the video. So I appreciate it when you guys like my videos. So it makes me know if you've liked the video, quite literally. And it makes me know that to continue doing those sorts of videos. So please make sure you do like the video if you do want me to continue doing this because I enjoy it and I hope you guys do. And if I sound sick, I'm still trying to get over my sickness. So I sound a bit more nasally than the already Australian accent is, and I do apologize because I might sound very like me. Oh my God, I'm scared. Like, oh, I forgot what prompts I've even put in here. Oh, a book with an ugly cover. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I can do this. There might be an ugly cover, but it's got good like, you know, inner-ness. Is that a word? English. Come on, Tash. Oh. This is, this is a hard one because I'm also trying to think of a book that I want to read but it does have an ugly cover. A Cup of Zodiac, that's not ugly, ugly. A Shot in the Dark, mm, I don't think that's ugly either. I'm Like when I think ugly, I'm thinking like humans on the cover. Oh. <gasps> what am I talking about? I have ones with humans. I hate humans. I love fictional people. These ones I'm going to count as ugly because they've got humans on the cover and I got three to choose from. So two are actually from the same book series. J.R. Ward, The Viper. I've never read any of their books. But that cover, very questionable. Yeah, you're wondering why I bought this book. I didn't actually buy it. This was sent to me by the publisher. And again, the same author. I'm assuming this must be their newest release because they did a hard cover. Again, fucking ugly. That is so ugly. I can't even look at it. It's disgraceful. The reason I chose these books to be sent to me from the publisher is because I looked at the reviews and they've got really high ratings and I was very surprised. I was like, okay, like I might give them a go. Um, otherwise, we can go round two because last month I said I was going to read Buckled. Uh, that was on my TBR. I didn't get to it. I didn't even pick it up. Didn't even look at it. Didn't even sniff it. Nothing. It it was in the back of my mind. I think I might try one of these because I've never read this author. Even though I love Pam Godwin, but I just want to see. Maybe the ugly cover might surprise me. We will see. Anyway, I think that's our first book. What's this about? Oh, it's a fantasy. Is this one of those ones that have like the packs, like beta, alpha? What are they called again? Omega verse. Okay, so I've just read the back and it looks like that he is, I don't know what he is, but he's been put in prison for something. He's been put in prison for murder and the nurse he's now like got a connection with, but now like I think he's getting treatment and they're gonna see if they can fall in love. I don't know, I'm very confused by the back, but all these comments on the back are like wickedly sexy, utterly absorbing and deliciously erotic, hot, sexy, unique and intriguingly wicked, mesmerizing. I mean, those reviews by itself make it sound like this is a very spicy book. And I'm not gonna lie, from the covers alone, like I would assume that they're spicy books. I'm just gonna start with this one. That's book number one. Number two, number two. I really hope this mic's working. Testing one, two, and two. A book with a low Goodreads rating. Ooh, okay. Could be a difficult one. I usually say low is anything under four stars. <laughs> a low Goodreads rating. Every summer after. I feel like I've had mixed reviews about that 
online. Oh shit, it's got 4.25. Okay, that's weird. The Bellbird River Choir. 3.8. Okay, so that's our lowest contender so far. The Summer Girl by L. Kennedy. Let's check that. That's 4.02. So that's a no. Time of my life. Okay, let's see that. Okay, Rosie. 3.72. Oh, that's our lowest so far. Okay, 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 okay. What shut out? Avery healing 4.05 okay so that's a no i think this is the lowest rating i can find for a book out of the ones i've got i think a lot of my books have high ratings just because i base a lot of the books i buy off the goodreads ratings and what people say online so i just think there's like a general consensus <laughs> that the books i have are pretty good this one i bought on a whim because it was really cheap in the works and I actually know nothing about it for the time of my life it is probably like less than 300 pages uh, just over 300 330 oh uh, so this is like a groundhog's day is that is that what groundhog's day is like where you repeat the same day over and over again that's basically what this is we will see i don't even know why i bought this like it's not even a book that i'm like wanting to reach for so um i think it was just like part of the three for six deal that i got <laughs> so i was like yeah that one will do so there's two books this month that i would have never picked up that are now on my tbr will i get to them we will see i'm gonna do eight books like last time prompt three is a book that is out of your comfort zone wow okay these prompts are not helping me i want ones that are like choose a fantasy book a book that's out of my comfort zone okay 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 comfort zone i i really don't know what is this actually oh maybe this this is general fiction so maybe that might be out of my comfort zone maybe i'll go with the general fiction books that's pretty crazy publisher sent me this one so this is the bellbird river choir oh my god i've missed out a whole word this is the bellbird river country choir by sophie green this is a general fiction book and it is based in australia it's technically a bit of home that's why i accepted this book being sent to me from the publishers definitely out of my comfort zone will i get to this i'm gonna try my third book the list of books that i'm so excited to read oh, i just want some books that i know i'm gonna read give me a good prompt like ones that i'm excited for no offense but like you guys are just like pretty average sorry <sighs> prompt four a book that will make you cry okay this is more up my alley thank god this will make me cry i think i found the one or maybe abby jimenez let me have a look Oh, someone said that they cried during this. I don't know which one now. Okay, okay, okay. So this could make me cry. So I have Kennedy Ryan's Before I Let Go and Abby Jimenez's Part of Your World. So I think this is part of her Friends series. What's it called again? The Friend Zone series. And there's like three books of Abby Jimenez. Um, I haven't read the others, but I've heard this one's like amazing and everyone loves it. And this one's Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. I'm pretty sure this is a second chance, like marriage and trouble book. Kenny Ryan, I've read her book The Long Shot, which is over here. I cried like a baby. That was a very scarring book. It was just so emotionally draining and just, it was just a hard read in general. And I've heard that this is also, again, she's just like one of those authors that can really like pull the heartstrings. And I've heard this is so many people's favorite reads of their year at the start of the year when this, I think it came out at the start of the year, maybe end of last year. I don't know which one I want to read. Like these are two authors that I adore. Oh god, what am I gonna choose? What am I gonna choose? What am I gonna choose? Um, do you know what? I think I'm gonna choose Abby Jimenez, Part of Your World. Abby Jimenez, Part of Your World, that is my fourth book choice. But I do really want to read this so badly. I've heard so many good things. Okay, prompt number five. A book in a series. Okay. Thank God, because I'm dying to read this book. Fear of the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. I got recommended this book from a mutual on my Instagram. So Anna actually had posted about this. I think she's posted a lot about this, to be honest. She said it's her favorite romantic book she's read in a long time. And she's read all the same romantic books that I've read. So when she recommended this, I had to buy it. I had to pick it up straight away. I ordered it that night. And I'm dying to read it this month. This is a book that I... I'm genuinely so excited to start. It is a thick baby and I did get some makeup on her when I was making a TikTok. So um, go to my TikTok if you want to see that because I was very sad once I did it. But anyway, um, other than that, almost 600 pages. I was very scared just opening that one. I thought I was going to see a spoiler. Fear of the Flames. Very excited. Maybe I'll sit on my bed so you guys can see. Oh, I'm so happy now. This is I just need some more fantasy books. I'm in such a fantasy mood. Like I'm just not in the mood for romance right now. I'm so sorry, but like I'm not. A book that was thrifted. Yes. Okay, this book I've actually not read. Oh, I've got a couple that have been thrifted. No, I'm gonna, I'll choose this one. 
This book I've actually not read, but I've watched the TV series and I fucking loved it. It made me want to go read the book. I fell in love with the characters and I'm just like, wow, I want to read it. I want to annotate it and I want to go into it heavy because the series was just incredible. Um, I'm sure most of you have read it because I am now in love. Paul Mescal is now my top man just behind Harry. He's probably maybe even equal with Harry. Paul Mescal is now one of my favorite people ever. I'm obsessed with him. I love everything about him. I dream of him in my dreams. Now I need to read this book. I did find it in a thrift store. It was one pound. It's in pretty good condition. Like besides like the yellowing on the pages and it's a little bit creased on the cover, I was like, for a quid, I have to buy it. Other than that, it was thrifted. So Sally Rooney, normal people, love that. Love the TV series. Okay, prompt seven. <laughs> a book that is a new release. Oh, this one. So I got Throne of the Fallen by Kerry Manscalco. I've got Throne of the Fallen. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce her last name and I'm going to ruin it. This is the special edition as well from Waterstones exclusive. How beautiful. So super excited to start this. I've had some mixed reviews. Some people say they're loving it. Some people saying it's not their favorite and they're not going to be finishing it. So it's kind of a bit, yes, I'm a bit on the fence with this one because a few of the people who have said that they've not liked it are people that I usually take their recommendations and love them. So we will see how this one goes, but I am super excited because the book is just beautiful and I do love this author. I've read her, not Kingdom of the Wicked. Yeah, it is Kingdom of the Wicked. Call it Kingdom of the Wicked series that she had. And I'm pretty sure this is Envy's story. So I'm excited to start this Throne of the Fallen. Lucky last prompt. What more fantasy book? Please. Please say pick a fantasy book. That's all I need. An author you've never read. Okay. Okay. I didn't get to this author last month. Um, this book last month said so Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I know I was meant to read it, but I became so sick and I just, a whole two, almost two weeks, I got no reading done. So I'm definitely reading it this month because it comes out in January for the UK, the second release. So I need to get this one done and out the way. And I've heard so many great things. So happy to have this back on my TBR because I just want to read it so badly. So we'll quickly go through through the books we've got. Final TBR comes down to Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross, Throne of the Fallen, Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling, The Viper by J.R. Ward, Sally Rooney, Normal People, Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez, The Time of My Life by Rosie Mullinder, and the final one is The Bellbird River Country Choir by Sophie Green, which I don't know if I'll get to but those are my final books chosen for November. I 100% will be getting through to at least half of these, which I will guarantee you I'll read. I'm definitely going to try push for <laughs> a couple of them. I'm going to I'm going to try my best, I promise. But we will see at the end of the month how I go. If you guys have read any of these books and you can try and convince me to make sure I pick them up this month, please let me know in the comments if you've read them and if you've loved them or just your thoughts on any of these books. I would really like to know and if you like this type of videos make sure you do like the video and let me know because I will continue making them and if you've got any ideas of like types of videos you'd like to see or for me to video and film put a comment down in the comments and I will try and get to them this month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.